Two championships have been decided. A third is up for grabs as now we have the Division Three State Boys Basketball Finals coming up here on ONN as Akron St. Vincent St. Mary battles Jamestown Greenview here at the Jerome Schottenstein Center in Columbus. Along with former Ohio State All-America Jay Burson, I'm Marty Bannister. Great to have you with us here at the Schottenstein Center for this matchup. Jay, certainly talent meets desire in this one this afternoon with Akron St. Vincent St. Mary and Jamestown Greenview coming in. You look at Akron St. Vincent St. Mary, top ranked, unbeaten, with two of the state's better players. Oh, they sure do. They've got two really good players. First and senior, Maverick Carter, who had 26 points and six rebounds in the first game. And freshman LeBron James, who had 16 points and 11 rebounds. It's certainly a very talented Akron St. Vincent St. Mary team that comes to the afternoon's championship matchup. Jamestown Greenview, on the other hand, comes to this game off a gutting performance in their semifinal victory over Lima Central Catholic. Oh, they sure did. They made every play down the stretch and really shot the ball well from the field, and they're going to have to do that again here tonight if they want to get a win. And the guy looking on to make the plays for him is Greg Haynes. Yeah, Greg Haynes. He's the glue. He's the point guard. He's the one that makes this team go. Stay with us. It's the boys' Division Three state championship is Akron St. Vincent St. Mary and Jamestown Greenview. It comes up next here on ONN. Jerome Schottenstein Center almost full for this Division Three state championship game as we have Akron St. Vincent St. Mary unbeaten right number one in the state against Jamestown Greenview at 23 and 4 coming into this one. These two teams very impressive during the regular season. Bill Green the head coach at Jamestown Greenview in his 20th year 263 career victories. Akron St. Vincent St. Mary coached by Keith Dan brought an impressive record as well and he's with Mike Raymond. All right, we're with head coach Keith Dambrot of Akron St. Vincent St. Mary, the only the undefeated team in this tournament. The other undefeateds didn't make it this far. You guys have a chance to do what no other team in the state has done in your division, obviously, undefeated season. What, do you, what are your thoughts going into tonight's game? Well, we just want to play well. We want to play hard and really play together and play our best game of the year so people can really see how good a team we are. This uh, Jamestown Greenview team kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, did you have a chance to look at them, and what do you think their strengths are? Well, obviously, during the state championship game, you, you have a good ball club. and uh, They're big and strong. They share the ball well. They get good point play from Haynes, and I think they're a real formidable opponent. All right, Coach, good luck to you today. Thank you very much. All right, let's send it back over to uh, Marty. Mike Raymond, thank you very much. Stay with us. Starting lineups, opening tip-off. Coming up next, the Division Three High School Boys Basketball Championship, only on o and all Ohio, all the time. Oh. 
for St. Vincent St. Mary, starting at guard, a 6'2 junior, number three, Ali Sabalaba. Akron St. Vincent St. Mary 26 and 0, Jamestown Greenview at 23 and 4 coming into this one here this afternoon. The St. Vincent St. Mary Irish got here by virtue of beating Canal Winchester in the semis, while Jamestown Greenview a thriller as Jay Burson talked about a short time ago, knocking off Lima Central Catholic 51 to 50. We look at the starting lineups for this afternoon's game, Jay, and certainly athletic ability and basketball talent would favor Akron St. Vincent St. Mary, but Jamestown Greenview a team that plays very hard. Yeah, the Rams, they want to play very hard. They want to slow the basketball down. They need to rebound and beat the press. And the Irish, they want to get out and run and score as many points as they can. Trevor Thomas scored the game-winning bucket against Lima Central Catholic, hitting a jumper with seven ticks left on the clock in the semis, while Akron St. Vincent St. Mary had to battle game long with Canal Winchester, but they were able to close it out and pull away for a 10-point victory at 63-53. Keith Dambrod in his second year, a University of Akron graduate, 41-7 and during his tenure at Akron St. Vincent St. Mary, guiding the Irish to his first trip to the state tournament. St. Vincent St. Mary, 26-0, running the table this season in Division Three in the state of Ohio. The Irish again getting here by knocking off Canal Winchester in the semis. Dan Rod in his second season guiding the Irish. Bill Green in his 20th year coaching at Jamestown Greenview, a small school located about 35 miles south, southeast of Dayton. He is a University of Dayton graduate, his first state trip. Officials this afternoon, Brian Spangler, Milton Anthony Jr., Bobby Sagers Jr. We are ready for the Division III state championship. The opening tap slapped around, controlled by the Rams of Jamestown Greenview. Greg Haynes, 5'10", senior, averaging a dozen points, seven and a half assists per game. Sends it to Trevor Thomas, and he puts the Rams ahead. Good play. Nice three-point shot right there to get a good start. I think Greenview really needs to have a good four minutes here. Get, get themselves into the game. Don't be intimidated. Greenview goes man to start. Chad Morass sends it over to Ali Samabali, who spots up. This three rolls around, and out of Greg Haynes, the rebound for the Greenview Rams. Long lead being knocked away. Samabali tries to save it back in, does into the hands after it's took around a couple of times. Chad Morass, the middle it, taken away by a hustling Trevor Thomas, who falls timeout before falling out of bounds. We'll take a 20-second timeout right here. We see the hustle right away. We talked about Greenview playing hard. You see it right there, Jay. Yeah, they certainly do. They need to come in and control the tempo of this game. Take shots when they're open, but don't get caught up in the up-and-down game. They've done a nice job right here of hustling. I look for both teams to really get at it in the defensive end. You'll see the hustle right here that results in a change of possession. Everybody knows that timeout, too, now. Call that quick timeout before you fall out of bounds and save the possession. Already two state champions have been decided here today. Warrensville Heights and Fort Jennings. Akron St. Vincent St. Mary, they're trying to be the only team of the ones left to run the table this season. Yeah, they're 20, right 26 and 0 right now and really haven't been tested. Pass thrown away, Ali Samabali. Lead beat for the jam by LeBron James, the second team all Ohio pitcher. Jay Burris had talked about him in the open a short time ago. He's an impressive performer. They really want to trap right here and try to get some steals and get some easy baskets. One point Greenview advantage. Berman Matthews checked into the game at the timeout. Here's the turnover. Almost our broadcast location. Jay was ready to shoot it as it came <laughs> over here. Turnover gives the ball back to Akron St. Vincent St. Mary. I know Coach Green was concerned about that trap and that press. So far, Greenview hasn't done that great a job here early. Would you have shot or would you have passed it? I would have felt more comfortable out there on the floor than I do right now. <laughs> St. Vincent St. Mary with the basketball. LeBron James, a second-team All-Ohio performer as a freshman. And Greenview goes back into the zone right here. Moraz, a three that doesn't go. And the miss tracked down by 6'6 senior Joe McClure. Still a one-point advantage for Greenview at 3-2. Here's Haynes spinning into the lane. 
Jumper no good. McCoy, the offensive follow. Haynes can beat you off the dribble, get you in the lane. Help comes, get an offensive rebound. 5-2 advantage for the Rams of Jamestown Greenview. Greenview back in the zone. They must want to force him from the outside. Almost has matchup. Looks like, or, or, or looks there on that zone, Jay. Because when the ball goes to the middles, we have a whistle and a foul. Berman Matthews with the post player will step up to the free throw line to guard the, ball, the guy who takes the ball at that location. They, they sure does. They're really trying to guard the perimeter, but you have to be careful stretching it out too far because then you can find gaps in the middle. Maverick Carter picks up the foul for Akron St. Vincent St. Mary. The Division Three Player of the Year with his first foul. Greenview will have to be successful offensively inside and out. Driving into the lane, missing the runner, but tipping it back in is Josh Carter. you got to make them pay when they press. you got to score on the other end. 7-2, Greenview on top. LeBron James bringing St. Vincent St. Mary closer. That's the style they want to play. Get it up and down, get the press set. Almost a steal. LeBron James averages 17 points a game. He's only a freshman. Hits 50% of his shots from the field. To call Drew Joyce, who's checking into the game, diminutive would be a vast understatement. He's all of 5 feet 2 inches tall. The freshman. Seen a lot of freshmen play key minutes in this tournament. Greenview with the basketball and a two-point advantage. Ray Haynes, really the glue of this Greenview team. Jay, yeah, I know you were very impressed with his play in the semis. Yeah, I thought he really did a nice job, especially towards the end of the game. Spots up for a three that doesn't go, and LeBron James high in the air to snatch down the miss. Two-point advantage for the Greenview Rams. Members of the Kenton Trace Conference. Samamali's three no good, and Berman Matthews pulls down the miss. Well, Greenview's got them doing what they want, which is casting up some three-point shots. Working on the baseline is Josh Carter, and a whistle and a foul. Ali Samabali will be hit with a foul, the 6'2 junior. You see a nice push ahead right here. It takes the ball to the basket, gets it a little bit late, reaches in. Gets the foul. Right now, Jay, Greenview doing a good job of beating St. Vincent St. Mary down the floor. They sure are. That's what you need to do. Get the ball in quick. Don't let that press get set. Get it to the end of the floor and then make them pay once in a while, but don't take the quick contested shot. 6'4 freshman Sheehan Carter checks into the game for St. Vincent St. Mary and pulls down the miss of Josh Carter's leaner in the lane. Irish break. LeBron James. Put St. Vincent St. Mary ahead. They bring in another freshman off the bench. Four of their top eight are freshmen on this team. Long three for James. He has all eight of St. Vincent St. Mary's points. If they can continue to make some of those threes, Greenview's going to have to come out of that zone defense. Trevor Thomas out high. Haynes gets the rebound and puts his team back ahead. Greg Haynes averages 12 points a game. And Greenview by a point at 9 to 8. Maverick Carter with the touch. Right side James will try another one. He's human after all. He misses the jumper. And Berman Matthews the rebound. I think Greenview would like to keep him out there, though. Nice pass inside for the layup off the glass to Joe McCook, who did a great job, Jay, of sealing off his man. He sure did. They have a nice execution there on the offensive end. 6'6", senior Joe McClure averages 10 points a game. Greenview by three, 11 to eight. Good oh, nice. <laughs> You almost couldn't see him shoot it, and he stuck it to tie the game at 11. Greenview pushes ahead, Greg Haynes. Berman Matthews open, just short. And the loose ball rolls back out high where Joe McClure recovers. Three minutes remaining, first period of the Division III State Championship game, along with Jay Burst and I, Marty Bannister, our entire Ohio News Network crew. Great to have you with us for this day's worth of basketball as we decide championships in the state of Ohio. Sheon Cotton picks up the personal foul. Changes for the Irish. Chad Mraz will check in. And also coming in, Ali Semabali. We head to a break with the game tied at 11, the Division III State Championship game on ONN.
Tie game out 11, Akron St. Vincent St. Mary, Jamestown, Greenview, the Division III state championship game here at the Schottenstein Center in Columbus. And Jay, you look at the numbers here early on, and certainly you would think Akron St. Vincent St. Mary would be the team that could get things done inside, but it's Jamestown Greenview doing the damage in the paint. You would think so. The Irish really seem to be settling for some three-point shots. When they have some athletes, they need to get the ball inside. And I know Coach Green talked about it before this game, but he always has his team start trying to get the ball inside early. Rebounds a big factor here early on, too. An 8-2 advantage for Greenview. Half of those offensive rebounds. Haynes into the lane. That puts the Rams ahead by a bucket. Haynes does a great job getting into the lane. Does a nice job of making those 6-8 foot shots. One thing I've noticed here early on, Jay, Greenview hasn't backed down. Long three by Drew Joyce. And he does it again. Half dozen for Drew Joyce. And St. Vincent St. Mary back on top by a point. But Jamestown hasn't backed down at all to this point. They sure haven't. I really thought the first four or six minutes would be important for this Greenview team to prove to themselves and to the people that they could hang in there. And they've proved to it. They've come out here, tough kids, hard-nosed, want to play. Trevor Thomas is three, no good. And Sam Abali snatches down the rebound. I think it's a great point you made about proving to themselves that they belong on the floor with this team. Yeah, you know, they, they try to intimidate people. I'm talking about the Irish. They want to come in. They're their athletic ability, their size. Just like a lot of teams, like Cincinnati tries to do in college. And Greenview comes in here. They come in here. They just want to play. Turnover will give the basketball back to Jamestown Greenview. Watch Drew Joyce spot up out high. My new best friend right there. <laughs> Fair to say he elevated it all. Did he leave his feet? I like him. Yeah, somehow I figured you would. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the pressure defense. Haynes trapped in the backcourt. Able to break it as they feed it ahead. Nice skip feed to the cross court for Joe Pauley with it. Inside to Carter. Muscled in, missed it. The follow by Thomas, no good. Carter tries again. Ball still being battled for. Great hustle on both sides, and Maverick Carter comes ahead with the basketball. Carter's first look inside, and the shot blocked underneath by Josh Carter, who rejected the Division Three Player of the Year. Shot out of bounds, and it has the Greenview fans all worked up. Here we look at it right here. Nice play. Drives the baseline, gets open. A real nice timing on the block. Mavericks had a tough time inside to start this game. LeBron James checks out a lineup. Greenview on the inbound to Haynes. Nice leave right side for the shot off the glass and in by Josh Carter. Very unselfish play. Nice basketball. And a one-point Greenview advantage as we go to 110 left in the first period. And again, Greenview doing it inside. 10-2 advantage. Points in the paint. Yeah, the, the Irish take another three-point shot right there. They need to work it around a little bit more. Sam Abali deep in the corner. Too strong, and Haynes has the rebound. On the go, into the lane, and we have a whistle, and the ball knocked out of the hands of Greg Haynes. Greg Haynes has done a nice job controlling the pace of this game. He kind of knows when to take it, when to back it out. Rams will inbound it. And we have a whistle and a foul called Maverick Carter was trying to hold Joe McClure and keep him away. And Carter picks up the foul, his second. Rough start for the player of the year in the state of Ohio Division Three, Jay. Yeah, he certainly has. He hasn't even got a shot off thus far. And with only a minute to go, we would have thought that he would have had some, some good plays in there. But he goes out with his foul right there. Second personal foul on Maverick Carter. Inside, Trevor Thomas. And cash in on the inbounds pass, and the Irish break the other way. Sam Abali to the baseline. Thomas had a hand on the loose ball, tracks it down. Inbounds pass is stolen by James to Sam Abali, and he will go to the line as he is fouled. Nice play by James. He broke him down, brought the defender to him, and found the open man. Josh Carter from behind gets Ali Sam Abali, who will step to the line. There it is, you can really see the foul. He will shoot a pair, 64% on the line during the season. A third team All-Ohio performer. A rare trifecta, if you will, for Akron St. Vincent St. Mary. They have a first team All-Ohio selection in Maverick Carter, a second team All-Ohio choice in LeBron James, and at the line, Ali Samabali is a third team All-Ohio choice.
and three very good players. And you can tell St. Vincent St. Mary really wants to get out and run, use their athletic ability. But so far, Greenview's done a nice job of controlling the pace of this game. Just them both. And Jordan Matthews, the rebound. Greenview by a point. 15-14 with 30 seconds left in a, I think, a very surprising first period of action. Matthew slices into the lane, cut the bucket and a foul, Carmen Matthews. That's a perfect example right there. Greenview's not scared. They come in here, they're ready to play, they're hand on the press, they're taking the ball to the basket right there is a nice play. Here we get to see it again right here. No intimidation, get into the lane, get fouled, and drop it in. Free throw by Matthews does the goal, and Shiai Cotton comes away with a rebound. Three point Greenview lead. Look for him to try to get one shot right here. LeBron James with the basketball. He scored the first eight points of the game for St. Vincent St. Mary. Chris Bailey into the game for Greenview, guarding James. He's beat the center volley at deep. Corner three, and he sticks it to tie the game, and that will do it for the first period. So we played eight minutes of basketball in the Division Three State Championship game. We're tied at 17. You are watching the Division Three State Title game only on ONN, and all Ohio, all the time. game at 17 as we go to the second period in the Division Three State Finals. There you see Akron St. Vincent St. Mary coach Keith Dambrot say the last week or so has been a difficult one would be an understatement. A week ago Friday, Dambrot lost his mother, Faye, due to lung cancer. It was the day before the regional final with Cleveland Villa, Angela St. Joe. He coached the next day saying that's what mom would have wanted. She would have wanted me to coach. So he is coaching with a heavy heart inside LeBron James. Takes the alley and then lays it in to put St. Vincent, St. Mary back on top by a basket. Good lead change, another top yeah, right there. Greg Haynes does a great job of dissecting that pressure. Games even at 19, five lead changes, another tie. James kicks it to Sam Bobby. Nice move on the baseline, shot blocked inside. Knocked out of bounds, last touch. Let's check in now with Owen ends Mike Raymond. I got a real big Greenview fan here, uh, Bill Colley we're talking to. He scored 44 points 
Still holds the regular season record in a game going back to 1968. His nephew is on the team right now. And tell us why you, you're flying in to see him all the way from Phoenix, right? Yes, I've been there four times to see Joe play during the tournament. I've only missed one game. And this in the high school is named after the gym is named after Gary Brads, got the youth soft play and played here at Ohio State. The greatest player ever to play at Greenview was Gary Brads, and the gym is named after him. And we wish he could be here today. Hey, well, this team looks good out here tonight. They look good. I think they got a chance. I think they can do it if they stay focused. You know, thanks for uh, taking time with us, and uh, good luck, and thanks for flying in all the way to Ohio here. Mike, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much. All right. Back to you guys. LeBron, LeBron James just put St. Vincent St. Mary head by a bucket by sticking a jumper. Greg Haynes looks for the tie into the lane. Hit knocked out of his hands. Trevor Thomas recovers in time. And another basket in the lane right there. It seems like St. Vincent St. Mary's making a living from the outside, and Greenview's taking it inside. The complete opposite of what we would have thought at the beginning of the game. Even at 21, James on the baseline. Gets it back. Sam Abadi spots for a three. In and out. Trevor Thomas, the rebound. Jay talked about those three-point shots. St. Vincent St. Mary's taking 17 shots in the game, or 18 rather, and 14 have been threes. Yeah, that zone's doing a nice job of keeping them out. That's exactly what Greenview wants. They don't want them getting into the easy shots, and that's what they're doing on the offensive end. Pretty up and under move by Berman Matthews, and Greenview goes back on top by a bucket. 23-21 is our score. The Division Three state championship game. Maverick Carter's back into the game, posts up inside, muscles it up, and will go to the line. They need to do more of that. They need to get Maverick posted up inside. Then you'll really see those open three-pointers outside. Joe McClure picks up the foul. Watch Maverick Carter work inside. Good athlete. He leans in, gets the body contact, and tries to give himself a chance for three. Misses it, but now goes the line for two shots. Carter headed to Western Michigan. His first free throw attempt, no good. He has yet to get a shot off in this game. Drew Joyce back into the game for St. Vincent St. Mary. Also entering is Willie McGee, another freshman, a 6'3 freshman. And that just goes to show you right there, if they don't get the ball inside to their best player, Maverick Carter, something's happening wrong. They're settling for too many outside shots in my opinion. We need to get the ball inside to him and good things happen. Carter misses both free throws. Wonderful spin move on the baseline by Joe Paul. How many shots is Green are going to get into the paint? Four point lead for the Rams. Five and a half remaining in the second quarter. Drew Joyce gets open deep in the corner and he's coming three. again. Three for Drew Joyce. Nine points total. He just throws it straight up in the air and it comes down. Timeout call by Jamestown Greenview. Stopping the clock at the 5.18 mark. A 20-second timeout for the Greenview Rams. ONN's coverage of the Ohio High School Basketball Finals being brought to you by Subway, the way a sandwich should be. By Grange Insurance, your partner in protection. And by Ohio Health, your sports medicine specialist. 25-21 is Jamestown Greenview's advantage. And Jay, they're doing it by shooting the ball very well. Yeah, we talked about in the pregame that in the, in the semifinals, they shot the ball from the field very well. And there's six of their last seven right here today. 56% of the win over Lima Central Catholic. 12 of 23 to this point in this matchup today. Greg Haynes weaving his way through traffic. Sends it over to Joe Pauley. Spots up out high. Pauley takes a return feed from Haynes. Missed the jumper. Matthews battles inside, but LeBron James pulls down the rebound. And as James dishes it, we have a foul at the free throw line on Jamestown Greenview. As long as Greenview continues to score, it keeps the Irish off balance. Here's a nice move right here. It goes between the legs. They thought he was going to go up for the jump shot. Really nice head and shoulder fake to get himself into the lane and foul. That was on Joe Pauley as he checks out of the Greenview lineup. Carter comes back in. Carter working 
right side really getting us back in that zone, Jeff. Yeah, they sure do, and it just looks like the Irish just want to pass it around the outside and look for the little fella. <laughs> Drew! A dozen for Drew Jones, his fourth three-point shot of the game. He looks like he should be playing in the seventh grade game. He's out here in the biggest game in the state. Maybe it's a situation where Greenview just can't find him. 27-25, the same Vincent St. Mary's advantage after the three by Drew Joyce. Here we get a check a look at it again right here. He catches it. He's got his feet ready and knocks it down. No wasted motion. That Bend your a, knees and yeah. follow through. That was a 6-3 player flashing in his face that time. Josh Carter trying to get over that. He's probably asking himself as well, too, how in the world is this kid doing it? On a team of three All-Ohio performers, a 5-2 freshman is the leading scorer right now. Drew Joyce with a dozen. <laughs> Foul against Greenview. Uh, Greenview's number 51, Josh Carter. Josh Carter. In second, team four. You see him reach in right here and get the foul. I can start to feel the momentum change a little bit. It's amazing what a couple three-pointers can do for you. Maverick Carter to LeBron James. Works on Berman Matthews, runs into the lane and travels. 27-25 is St. Vincent St. Mary's advantage. We have an official's timeout. 3.56 remains. Here in this second period, you are watching the Division Three State Championship game only on O&N, all Ohio, all the time. Guys like Muggsy Bugs have proved there's room for the small guy in basketball, and Drew Joyce proving that. There's the crowd favorite right there. He's pushing it from the chest, getting everything he can into it, bending the knees and knocking them down. Drew Joyce, a five feet, two inch freshman, has 12 points in four minutes of court time. Coach Jambrot must know something we don't. I thought they needed to get the ball inbounds. They're seven to 15 from behind the three point line. He must know they can shoot it out there too. Overall, 50% are the Irish. Greenview also shooting 50%. A two-point game. Points in the paint, a big factor in this one. That's one of the reasons Greenview's still in this thing. Held ball on high. Sheon Carter ties up. Greg Haynes, not able to tie him up, and that forces a held ball. Possession arrow favors Akron St. Vincent, St. Mary. Yeah, the Irish are starting to get into that half-court trap, and now it's caused a couple turnovers. Vincent St. Mary, we mentioned, running the table. 26-0 coming into this one. Cotton into the lane, too strong off the glass, and Berman Matthews the rebound. Only three of their games this year were decided by 10 points or less. The closest anyone came to this team was seven points, and that was in the regional final. Berman Matthews lost it on the way up. Might have got away with a carry also. In the lane, McClure, and he is fouled. You can see the... St. Vincent St. Mary players telling official Bobby Sagers Jr., hey, he carried the ball, he carried the ball. Yeah, you see it right here. The Rams continue to get the ball inside. Uh, good Mary things happen. They've been able to make some shots in there and also get fouled. Second, second foul on Sheon Cotton. 
The free throw in front of the rim by Joe McClure. Joe, we gotta bend those knees. Bend the knees, lift, and follow through. We saw your dad between games, Coach Jim Burson. Is that what he would tell him? That's what he'd be telling him. <laughs> bend the knees right here. Let's see if they flex. Ooh. Not quite enough flex in those knees. You gotta get it deep into the knees, especially in tight games like this when a little bit of pressure on each shot. James comes away with a rebound for St. Vincent, St. Mary. Starting to light it up from the perimeter. And those, more than anything, are, are momentum shots. They sure are. And we were concerned about them not getting the ball inside early. But they do do a nice job of moving the ball around the outside of the zone and finding the guy that can shoot it. Another pretty good perimeter shooter back in the game, Chad Moraz, number five. And when they have gone inside, Greenview's done a nice job of contesting their shots. Maverick Carter out high. Sam Obali. Two and a half left in the first half. Athletic ability saves the ball for LeBron James. Gets it back to Mraz deep in the corner. And the shot hit the top of the backboard, but Joe McClure able to come away with a miss. Yeah, I really think they need to get Maverick Carter involved in the offensive end. He has yet to take a shot as Maverick Carter. Greenview with the basketball, trailing by a bucket. Here we see that half-court trap right here. The Irish are really trying to get out and pressure the basketball. That was a 6-4 player out there hounding Gray Haynes and Sheon Cotton. Another freshman. Now he's got a 6-5 senior on him at Maverick Carter. Trevor Thomas stepped on the sideline as he started his move. The turnover gives the basketball back to the Akron St. Vincent St. Mary Fighting Mary Irish. Mary. Yeah, right here we see it. And that's because of the pressure man-to-man -man defense. They're forcing the turnovers, but they're really not. They're right up on top of it. There you see the turnovers. Greenview for seven, and the Irish with only four. Coming into the lineup for St. Vincent, St. Mary, 6'3 freshman Willie McGee replaces Maverick Carter. McGee enters the game, still battling back from a shoulder separation. Both teams continue to put substitute. I think they know it's going to be a long, hard-fought game. They need to get some guys some blows. Jamestown Greenfield has gone almost four minutes without a bucket, but yet they only trail by two. John Taylor has it out high, kicks it right side. Sam Abali spots up and scores a three. All of a sudden, here comes Sam Abali, hits some big three-pointers right here, and they can get their full-court press on. Five-point advantage for St. Vincent St. Mary. I could say Vincent St. Mary's outscored in 9-0 here in the last few minutes. John Taylor trying to save it back in. And a 10-second call is whistled. As the ball never changed possession across the mid-court stripe. The officials now are going to come together. The ball never crossed the mid-court stripe, so the 10-second call was on. But now we're going to say the possession was, was gained by St. Vincent St. Mary which I think is the right call as it happened right near our mid-court broadcast location here. Well, sometimes they don't see some of those things. It's nice for them to talk to the other officials and get the right call. Have to be certain that Taylor gained possession of the basketball too before he saved it back in. Greenview catches a break there under a minute left in the first half. Berman Matthews though almost threw it away. Yeah, the Irish Curry. have really picked the defense up here late in the second quarter. They sure have. Greg Haynes backs in. Good ball fake, one-hander. Nice move. Patient. Got him the lane, took his time, let the guys fly at him. Hit down that nice little push shot in the lane. Three-point advantage for St. Vincent St. Mary. The three has been a big part of their game plan to this point. Eight made threes. Here in the first half, LeBron James backs out near the mid-court stripe. Slowly dribbling the basketball, looking at Keith Dambrot and the staff for instructions. Clock winding its way down. James directing traffic now will start his move with five seconds left. Sends it over to Taylor. Cross court, Brass, three. 
Three was partially blocked, and that will do it for the first half. Greenview trails by just three as the clubs head to the locker room. Akron St. Vincent St. Mary holding a 30 to 27 advantage. As we head to the locker room, you are watching the Division Three State Championship game here on the Ohio News Network. I'm probably going to talk about the little guy, obviously, there. Hey, do I have time? The highlights are a little long. Do you want two questions with Dave? Da Anthony? Just one question, man, so get your... Uh... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Get, get in whatever you want to say then. I pray, that's, that's cool. Who leads at the half? Can I have that? that? Is that coming up or no? Thank you. Welcome back to the Ohio News Network studios. I'm Douglas Sells. We're at halftime of the boys' high school basketball division three state championship game between Akron St. Vincent St. Mary and Jamestown Greenview at the Schottenstein Center. Let's take a look at the first half highlights. St. Vincent St. Mary forward LeBron James is a second team All-Ohio as a freshman and James looks the part on this play. How about Drew Joyce, also a freshman, but at 5'2", he's more than a foot shorter than James. Joyce, 12 first half points on four three-point buckets, fighting Irish by one. Greenview guard Greg Haynes to Josh Carter. Rams take a one-point lead. Second quarter now, Haynes moving Greenview again. The dish to Trevor Thomas down low. We're tied at 19, and at the half, Akron St. Vincent St. Mary leading Jamestown Greenview 30 to 27. Let's bring in our studio analyst Dave Sicuti, managing partner of Championship Sports Group and a former assistant basketball coach at Ohio State. And Dave, you, Akron St. Vincent St. Mary, they have the Division Three Player of the Year in Maverick Carter. They have a second team All-Stater in LeBron James. They have a third team All-Stater and a five foot two inch freshman is the leading scorer at halftime with 12 points. It's hard to believe, Doug, but you know, let's give Greenview some credit right now because they've controlled the tempo of the game. Greg Haynes, I think, has done an excellent job of directing the team. He directs the team, everybody follows. Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary is a streaky type of team, though. LeBron can get himself in a groove. He's backed up and he's hit some threes. Drew Joyce is having a career game for a young player. Hopefully they can keep their composure. I think the key in the second half, Doug, will be to see if Greenview can keep the game close. If they can keep it close, look for Greg Haynes to take over at the end. All right, thanks a lot, Dave Sicuti, and what a finish we're expecting. Three-point game at the halftime, and again, Jamestown, Greenview, and its first ever trip to the state tournament. Now, what a finish we had in the D2 state title game this morning. All Ohio forward Julius Johnson pours in 28 points for Warrensville Heights, including the go-ahead basket in overtime, the Tigers' first lead of the game. Final seconds of overtime, Cincinnati for Sel Marion, down by two. Brandon Salamone for the win. No, the Cavaliers get two more looks at the basket before the buzzer, but they can't get the ball to drop. And Warrensville Heights holds on to win its first ever state championship, 
76 to 74 in overtime. Another hair-raising finish this afternoon in the Division Four state championship game between Fort Jennings and St. Henry under a minute and a half to play. St. Henry down by two, looking to tie it up, but Kevin Grothaus makes the steal, takes it to the iron, and one for a three-point play. Roadhouse scores a game high 23, and Fort Jennings goes up by five. Musketeers hold on to win their first ever state title, 64 to 58. So a couple of great finishes already. Before we get you back out to the Schottenstein Center and the second half of the boys' high school basketball Division Three state championship game, let's check in in the ONN newsroom for this Ohio news and weather update. Save his strength for the real thing here. Why don't we save his strength till the real thing? You know. I would just one more guy that goes up oh, there. All right. And welcome back to the ONN studios in Columbus. Right now, let's go back to the Schottenstein Center in Columbus. Rejoin our Mike Raymond with the Marines pull-up contest. And Mike, I don't see you on that bar yet. <laughs> You're not going to see me out there, Doug. <laughs> I put these, guys, these strong guys behind me do this thing. This pull-up's been going on all day. They go on before the game. Then at halftime, we bring back the finalists. And Staff Sergeant Keith Dubois joins me now. And who do we have at this halftime break? Okay, right now we got Sean Hood. He's our winner for uh, this game. And uh, for our females, we got an Ashley Smith. She was up there for a good 45 seconds. And uh, she was hanging up there. And as a matter of fact, she's about ready to get back up on the bar to hang again here. All right, how many did Sean do? He did 11. He did 11, okay. Now, Ashley, the girls is a little different, and, and they will right, just do the whole. Right, they'll do what we call a flex arm hang. And as you can see, she'll just hang up there on the bar for time. And uh, it's just because of the, the, the different ways that male and females are, are made that for in the Marine Corps, we designed two different exercises. So she right now is demonstrating a flex arm hang. Ashley looking good there. Hey, just like uh, Douglas Sells going for the dunk, some serious hang time there. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mike. You know, I do that flex as well, but it's usually at the bottom trying to get myself up for the first one. So. All righty, thanks a lot to Mike All Raymond. Right, Doug. We'll go back to Mike, obviously, for more basketball and more pull ups at halftime of the next game. Right now, time for a quick break. After this timeout, we'll head back to the Schottenstein Center and join Marty Bannister and Jay Burson for the second half of the high school basketball Division III state championship game between Akron Vincent St. Mary and Jamestown Greenview. Enjoy the rest of the game, everybody.
30 to 27. Number one ranked Akron St. Vincent St. Mary leading Jamestown Greenview here at the half. Let's check in now with ONN's Mike Raymond. All right, we're with Greenview head coach Bill Green at halftime. You're down by three points against the number one team in the state. Are you pretty happy with the way that you're playing? Or? Well, we've made a few more turnovers. We haven't really adjusted our press very well. I think we got to handle our press a lot better. Uh, they shot the ball real well from the perimeter. Um, you know, we, we want to keep rebounding. We've, we've done a pretty good job of rebound. we got to handle that press. All right, good luck to you in the second half. Thank you. All right, head coach Bill Green, who is retiring after this game. It'll be interesting to see what happens in the second half, guys. All right, Mike, thank you. Jay Burson, if I would have told you before the game, Maverick Carter would not have taken the shot and not scored a point, you would have had to like Jamestown Greenview's chances. They're still in it. Oh, he sure would have. Great. Jamestown Greenview has done a great job here in the first half controlling the tempo of this basketball game, getting the ball in the, in the paint for some easy shots. Yeah, Maverick Carter, he was the first team all state, but who would have thought who would stole the show was Drew Joyce with four three-pointers, four for four from behind the arc. Same starting fives for both teams to start the second half. Haynes, Thomas, McClure, Pauley, and Carter for Greenview. Maverick Carter, LeBron James, Ali Semobali, Chad Mraz, and John Taylor for the St. Vincent St. Mary Irish. A three-point advantage for the state's top-ranked team, Akron St. Vincent St. Mary, as we start second half play. Hey, Greenview does a nice Greenview does a nice job of passing around the perimeter and doesn't settle for some of the shots, trying to work the ball inside exactly what they want to do from the get-go. Lob feed inside, nicely done, but Carter couldn't finish on a pretty good lob feed that time. Both teams doing a pretty good job in the first half of moving the ball around, Jay, and getting some pretty good shots in that first half, and that was a good look right there by Carter. Just couldn't finish. It sure was. They're patient. They're not settling for the first shot, maybe the first contested shot. They're taking the extra pass, making the extra look, and getting it inside where they're getting some real nice, easy baskets. Mostly man in the first half defense. We all know Greenview showed a good dose of zone, especially in the first quarter, and then at portions of the second period. So they come out here in the second half in the man-to-man. -man. LeBron James working on Berman Matthews. Mraz spots up on the cross court skip feed and scores. Unselfish play, LeBron James gets the ball as the defenders come to him and finds the open man for the open three-point. Six-point advantage now for St. Vincent St. Mary, largest lead of the game. One of the things that Keith Dambrot told us prior to the game is Greenview beats the press and Josh Carter scores. LeBron James, an underrated passer. He feels he's a very good ball handler. Yeah, he's really excited about his future. He really thinks he can play somewhere at the next level and he's going to be a really good player. He's a good thinker, understands the game. Inside, Ali Semobali is fouled on a good bounce pass across the baseline that had him set up inside. Berman Matthews picks up the foul. Both teams come out here in the second half and are looking to get the ball inside, which is what I think they both need to do. Instead of a foul, they called a held ball that time, the officials did. So the possession arrow favors St. Vincent St. Mary on that situation. They get it back in. Maverick Carter had his shot rejected by McClure. But gets it back underneath the first points of the game for Maverick Carter. Nice rebound right there and put back. And a whistle out just across the midcourt drive and a foul against. St. Vincent, St. Mary, John Taylor, 6'1", Jr., picks up the foul. Right here it is. Haynes isn't going to let him get the ball from him. He can really handle the ball and creates a lot of good things for this team. The scary thing is for opponents in Division Three, St. Vincent, St. Mary loses Maverick Carter, and that's it. <laughs> they got a lot of underclassmen. How high pressure on Joe McClure, able to send it over to Berman Matthews, who checked in rather quickly here in the second half. Matthew penetrates, lost it going airborne, and it will belong to Greenview. Berman Matthews just worked into the lane. Bill Green calls him our defensive stopper, gives us energy. Yeah, you can really tell this team, the Rams are really unselfish. They look for each other. Inside McClure, double team, and a foul is called. Again, they get the ball inside. When good things happen, I can't say it enough. Being a guard, I like to shoot the threes and shoot it outside, but I know games are won and lost in the paint. Foul is on Ali Samavali. Six-point advantage for unbeaten St. Vincent St. Mary in this Division Three state championship game. 
First few minutes of this third quarter, the tempo's changed uh, almost dramatically here, Jay. It's a much slower game. It sure is. The Greenview's done a nice job of controlling that. Little hustle play right there, but a foul. Greenview has some good ball handlers. They pass it, take their time on the offensive end, and then on the defensive end, they're able to do it too. So here we go. We see that nice hustle play, but just a little bit late. Got the foul. Chad Mraz diving for the loose ball. Here with the foul. He's a guy who injured his lower back, injured a bone in his lower back. There's a steal out high by Semivali, glides in, the shot doesn't go, and a blocking foul. Joe McClure hustling back. Ball is punched away, and again, creating opportunities with their defense. Sure are. They're, they're out guarding people. See how he's out there defending them is. Then he stands, knocks the ball away, runs and gets it, and then takes it hard to the glass and gets fouled. Semivali will step to the line where he is 0 of 2 today. St. Vincent, St. Mary is 0 for 4 at the line. Throws to seven at 36-29. Sam Ovalle ready for the back end. Hit them both. 37-29, St. Vincent, St. Mary. They're starting to get a little breathing room right now. Big time in the game right here for Greenview. They need to be able to stay in touch. Get some baskets right here. Keep that four to six point game going in the fourth quarter. Chad Moraz picks up a foul. Along the baseline. Sheehan Cotton will come back in for the Fighting Irish. As he replaces John Taylor. I've been impressed by Greenview how in control they are. They've been able to beat the press, go fast enough to get in, but then pull it back out and be under control on the offensive end. They find themselves low down in a hole right now. Thomas missed the three. Cotton the rebound to his knees, but managed to keep the ball alive. It's a 16 to four run by Akron St. Vincent St. Mary over the last eight minutes of game time, dating back to the first half. Game was tied at 17 all at the end of the first quarter. A three point Irish advantage at the break. And right now they lead by eight. Greenview falls back into that zone again, hoping that they'll cast up some three-pointers, give them an opportunity to get some long rebounds and get out on their own fast break. LeBron James puts it on the floor into the lane. Irish with the next three will tie a Division Three championship game record. Sam Obali had a shot out of there of the Sheon Carter. Cotton comes away with the miss. Back to Maverick Carter into the lane. Missed it, got it back, leans in, and scores. That's what they like to do. They want to get the ball up on the glass and let the good athletes go get it and put it back in. Maverick Carter moves the Irish lead to 10. Pressure all over the floor. Greenview breaks it. Bounce pass to Berman Matthews. Couple of ball fakes. Oh, it's the shot. The rebound follow up and in by nice hustle. Carter. Nice bounce pass, but he didn't give up on it either. He went and got the rebound. Eight point lead and a foul whistled as we come the other way. Josh Carter and Maverick. Carter collide. Uh, reviews, Josh, Carter. Right, Josh Carter picks up the foul. Changes for both teams. But prior to those players entering the game, we'll have an official's timeout. 342 remains third period. St. Vincent St. Mary leads Jamestown Greenview by eight. You are watching the Division Three State Championship game only on ONN.
the pictures, sounds, and descriptions of this broadcast are copyrighted by Dispatch Productions Incorporated. Any recording, retransmission, or other use of this material without the prior written consent of Dispatch Productions is prohibited. Turnover gives the basketball back to Jamestown Greenview, their fans who are really whooping it up in the first half, trying to rally their team back right now. They trail by eight. Yeah, the Irish are on 18-6 run right now to give them this 39-31 lead. And doing a lot of it thanks to Greenview turnovers. And Greg Haynes trying to avoid one right now in the backcourt. Does. Sends a middle floor to Trevor Thomas, who will spot him at the free throw line and score. Good shot right there. You have to make him pay. Pulled up at the free throw line for the open shot. Didn't take it too far. Nice play. Thomas hit the game-winning shot in the semifinals against Lima Central Catholic. A shot he said when he left his hands, he felt it was short. Out high, James and Thomas Tangle feed the Samavali. Three rattles around and out. James the rebound in a bucket. Greenview's got to get that rebound. They're forcing him to shoot the ball outside, but they must rebound out of the zone. Lead at eight. Steal on the inbound. Sheon Cotton will go to the line as he is fouled. You see that pressure wears on you sometimes, and right there's an example of it. Got an easy turnover, almost had a three-point play right here. Good hands, you're right, right there. Made the up fake, got him up in the air. Almost had the three-point play. Joe McClure hit with the foul. Sheon Cotton at the line. Couple of points and three rebounds against Canal Woodchester in the semis. A 53% free throw shooter. Maverick Carter coming back in. Placing Ali Semavali. The Irish are 2 of 7 right now from the free throw line. They need to make some of these free throws if they want to extend their lead. Second of two in. And a nine point lead now for St. Vincent St. Mary. Here comes the pressure. Immediate on the inbound, Haynes able to tight with his way up the sideline and his foul. John Taylor hit with a blocking foul. Right here, you see it right here. They're trying to trap him right there in the corner. Pretty good call right there. I think he was moving his feet a little bit. Here we go again with this press. They really want to trap you right here. Trevor Thomas being hounded by Sheon Cotton. Works middle of the floor with a basketball. Back to the ball handler, Greg Haynes, and they double team him immediately on the wing. Nice oh, found him. Side. Wide open underneath, Josh Carter. Good recognition yeah, by Greg. Sure was. Great play. They didn't quite get the trap tight enough on him. He looked over the top and found him along the baseline. And that's patience right there and being in control. It sure is. That's where the good guys, the point guards, got to find him. <laughs> Just ties a Division Three championship record. The tenth three-point shot of the game for Akron St. Vincent St. Mary made by number 10, Drew Joyce. Is he shooting that or throwing it? He's Boy, catching it, his feet set, and he just knocks it down. That's five of them. Here he we go, perfect. five for five. Five for five. Little guy right here, he catches it. He's got his feet planted. He pushes it straight at the basket and drills it. Just how you teach him. <laughs> you gotta be proud of the little guy. 10 point lead now for Greenview and they turn it over on the inbound. Well, they caught him for traveling out of bounds right there. He had a spot violation. He couldn't move. He ran the baseline a little bit and turned over back over to the Irish. Maverick Carter takes the inbound feed. Drew Joyce has the fans here today just in disbelief at his ability to shoot the basketball. He's going to try another one. Six for six. Oh! <laughs> six for six. Drew Joyce. He has 18 points in six minutes of court time. 48-35 is the advantage St. Vincent St. Mary. Norman Matthews trying to rally the Rams, and a travel is called. You gotta be patient right there. That's what they want you to do. They want you to get out of sync. That's where that pressure defense causes you. Get rushing a little bit. But another big shot, another big three-pointer for the Irish. Jamestown Greenview will call a full timeout. Here is Number six for Drew Joyce. He's not bashful either. Those guys are on him. They're flying at him. He doesn't care. He's singing the tunes. He is generously listed at 5'2", but I think everyone's under the general consensus that he's maybe about 4'11". <laughs> well, but he's, he's pretty big today. Six for six from behind the three-point no line. No question about it. 
18 points for Drew Joyce to lead everyone in scoring for Akron St. Vincent St. Mary. They've got 21 points off of the bench with 18 led by him. Here you look at it again. He catches it, like I said, with his feet in perfect position because he can't take any time. If he takes time, he's so short that they're going to get a hand on it. He catches it and unloads it quick. It was also interesting to watch as the St. Vincent St. Mary players headed to the bench. Maverick Carter carried Drew Joyce off the floor. Well, that's nice leadership. Maverick Carter really hasn't been able to get into the sink of this basketball game very much, but you can tell he wants to win. This team's all about winning, and it's nice to see here in the high school championships. A player who looks like he ought to be the manager is the leading scorer right now with 18 points. Drew Joyce, 5'2 freshman. The Division III single game record for threes is held by Sparta Highlands' J.T. Hoying, who hit eight. We still have about 10 minutes of game time left. Drew Joyce, that record is in serious danger. Yeah, and that brings Greenview out of them, their zone, and now they're going man to man. Maverick Carter will trigger it in on the baseline. Nice inbound to LeBron James, who hangs just enough to drop it in. Good play out of bounds right there. The lead at 15 now for St. Vincent St. Mary. This is the type of game they were looking for all afternoon long. Haynes is fouled as he tries to weave his way up the floor. Who would have thought it would have taken three pointers from the little guy to open things up for the Irish and get their athletes involved in the game? Maverick Carter picks up the foul on the reach in. And for Maverick Carter, that's his third personal foul. 11 to 2 run for the St. Vincent St. Mary Fighting Irish. Greg Haynes, free throw, hit every part of the rim and came out. And LeBron James control. Called one of the top 10 players in the state of Ohio by a number of scouting services. Some people have talked about this. St. Vincent St. Mary team being the best team in the state, not only in Division Three. Into the lane goes James, scoops and misses and will go to the line. A 15 point advantage right now for St. Vincent St. Mary. And there you see they have won their games by almost 25 points per outing. And the closest anyone has come to this team is seven. That was the regional final win over Cleveland Villa Angela St. Joe. Yeah, the Irish are doing a real nice job of not turning the basketball over. They had three turnovers in the first quarter, and I've only turned it over twice since then. Maverick Carter, little struggle this afternoon, hasn't scored. LeBron James with 16. James with the line. And hits the free throw. We saw LeBron able to get into the lane right there, and that's probably caused by them able to knock down some three-pointers, and now they're starting to spread the zone out on the perimeter a little bit more. Second free throw in for LeBron James. 17-point lead, almost all of the sudden for Akron St. Vincent St. Mary. Yeah, Greenview really hasn't been able to get it into the lane much like this at all. There, Greg Haynes into the lane. Counts the bucket out of foul for Greg Haynes. He'll go to the line. Yeah, when this team needs a basket, Greg Haynes is the guy to get it for him. There, you get to see it right here. Again, he takes his time. He gets in there and somehow figures it away to get it out of there. He gets it in. Now a chance for a three-point play. John Taylor into the foul for St. Vincent St. Mary. He can't believe it. Yes, it was on you, John. <laughs> Free throw good by Haynes. 45 seconds left in this third period and a 14-point lead for Akron St. Vincent St. Mary. Double team out high and a reach in. Berman Matthews. Guilty of the reach in power. Yeah, the lead for the Irish was three at halftime, and they've been in this third quarter really been able to stretch it out now to a 14-point lead. Keith Dambrod saying prior to the game. He felt today's game would be a test of wills, much like the Canal Winchester game where they made it a half-court game to the Indians of Canal Winchester. And Greenview, for the most part in the first half, had some success in doing that. But here in this third period, the three-point shots have spread the floor and allowed St. Vincent St. Mary to turn it into a full-court game. 
Yeah, Coach Dan Brock said also that we have good players, we play good defense, and we share the basketball. That's what makes them good. LeBron James watching Keith Dan Brock and the clock. James to the right side. Good ball. There's a Drew Joyce, seven for seven. Oh, there it is. 21 points for Drew Joyce to end the third period. St. Vincent, St. Mary, a quarter away from a state championship. They lead by 17 as we head to the fourth quarter. Drew Joyce takes us to the break. You're watching the Division Three championship game on ONN All Ohio all the time. We talked about the strength of St. Vincent St. Mary's starters, but Jay Burst in the bench has been the area that's done a lot of damage today, especially Drew Joyce. Yeah, the bench has outscored from 32 to 32 to 2, and Joyce has got 21 of those on seven three-pointers. The 12 made threes in the game, a Division three record. And also the Irish are on a 16 to 5 run right here in the last three minutes and 50 seconds. LeBron James. Hit with a foul. Chad Mraz coming back in, replacing Drew Joyce. <laughs> well, if you read you, you expected Maverick Carter to be a factor. You expected LeBron James to be a factor. I don't think you expected a 5-2 freshman to do you in. I don't think so. And he's really been able to spread the floor. And I, I thought the last three or four shots, I said, quit while you're ahead. And he continues to knock them down for him. Big three-pointers. 21 points in, count them, eight minutes for Drew Joyce. As the fourth quarter was about to get started, Greenview inbounded the ball in our midcourt strap, and Joe Pauley walked over towards the midcourt strap and just looked towards our general direction and just shook his head as if to say, I have never seen anything like that in my life. In reference to Drew Joyce. Yeah, Greenview's back out in their man-to-man -man trying to get some turnovers. Here we go. They've got to try to force the tempo now themselves. 15-point lead and out high. Haynes had a three go in and out. The follow in by Joe Potter. Nice rebound by Potter right there and stick back. Pauley playing with a torn ACL. He has that knee brace on that right knee. Kick in the corner, Mraz missed a three. Roman Matthews the rebound for Greenview. They trail by 13 points with 7-10 left in the Division III state championship game. There's still time right here for Greenview if they can knock down some shots, get themselves underneath 10 here in the next couple minutes. Kane, too strong in the corner. And John Taylor the rebound, but lost it. Knocked out of bounds, last touch by Joe Pauley. Good effort inside by Greenview. It sure was. He was patient right there, let the guys fly by and put it in. LeBron James comes back into the game as Ali Semabali sits down.
Maverick Carter comes back to get the basketball and waves his teammates down the floor, says, fellas, I'll bring it up. Maverick Carter headed to Western Michigan, but is reconsidering that decision. The Western Michigan basketball coaching staff, Bob Donawal, they were all fired after the end of the MAC season. LeBron James sticks in. She has Cotton's miss. And Maverick Carter and his family are rethinking that decision right now after the entire coaching staff at Western Michigan was fired. Haynes works into the lane, gets knocked off balance, and will go to the line. Yeah, Greenview right here has to try to get some points on the board to get back to it. It's a great way is to get in the lane and get fouled. Jay, we were talking prior to the game. So often you'll see a team like a Greenview as we watch Greg Haynes go into the lane. He'll step to the line. A team that puts the type of run together that they have just to get here. So often in a game like this, they run out of gas late in a game like this. Yeah, sometimes that can happen. I know that the athletes that St. Vincent St. Mary's brings to the table seems like in the semifinal game, they sometimes have their tougher game to get over that hump into the finals. But Greenview, you have to give them a lot of credit. They're very gutty. They've come out, played hard, played a very smart, intelligent game. But St. Vincent and St. Mary's got a lot of talent. You can see that with the way Maverick Carter right here hasn't been called upon to score today. They've got a lot of players and a lot of depth. And certainly a short turnaround time for Bill Green and his staff to prepare for this instead of a week to get ready for a semifinal. Big difference. It sure is. And you need to have some time because this team is going to take come right at you for all 32 minutes. I'm talking about the Irish. They put that defense on you, get their athletes after you, and they've done a good job. And, and what has been the difference here today is I think Greenview wanted them to shoot outside, and they have, but they've made some three-pointers that we didn't think they'd probably be able to knock down quite that many. Good steal right there and kick out. Lead feed for Trevor Thomas, adjust midair, missed the runner. Got it back underneath. We'll step back and fire. John Taylor pulls down the miss and leads the Irish break. Tried to roll it ahead for James, the pass stolen away. But Greenview gives it right back as Josh Carter, a little too much mustard on that one for Berman Matthews. There was a couple sloppy plays right there. Coach Dam brought Stampley's food feet over there. Under five and a half left in the Division Three state championship game. Akron St. Vincent St. Mary on top by 14 points, a turnover. In fact, a offensive foul was called right there on St. Vincent St. Mary. The struggles for Maverick Carter continue as he picks up his fourth personal foul. Yeah, LeBron James has really picked up the scoring too well, so he's got 20 points right here for them with Maverick Carter really struggling from the field today. A lot of times you might think if you're Bill Green and Greenview, you tell him prior to the game, hey, you're in the fourth quarter, Maverick Carter's got four points and four personal fouls. Do you like your chances? But with the team the town for St. Vincent St. Mary has, you're hoping for a lot of guys to have days like that. Oh, you sure do. And if you would have told him also that the other team had shot 26 three-pointers with the size and the athletes that they got, I think he'd be happy with that also. Sam Bobby comes back in replacing Maverick Carter. Yeah, in the last two minutes and 30 seconds, St. Vincent St. Mary's only scored two points without Joyce in there. Jordan Thomas missed the free throw, and Mraz the rebound for Akron St. Vincent St. Mary. This is their fourth trip to Columbus for the Irish. They won a state championship in 84. Lost in semis in 83 and 87. And they are five minutes away from a state title now, leading by 14 points. Ali Semavali misses the three deep in the corner. They're still looking to shoot. They're not backing it out. Haynes rifles it to the right side for a three, no good. LeBron James high in the air for the rebound. For James, his seventh rebound. Underneath, Semavali is fouled. There's one of those passes you were talking about with LeBron James. Really does a nice job of keeping his head up and seeing the floor. Foul on Joe Pauley, the 6'1 senior. Pauley's third foul. 6'2 junior Ali Samabali at the line. Did a nice job in the semifinal break there with Canal Winchester. Struggle from the field, just two of nine but did have 10 rebounds and some big rebounds late in the game for the Irish. Lead at 15, 58, 43. 
for Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary. Greg Haynes gliding inside. LeBron James rejects the runner, and Shion Cotton comes down with the miss. Good move to get in the lane. May have taken it just a step too far. John Taylor, LeBron James. Everywhere but in. Cotton's follow is swatted away by Joe McClure. And St. Vincent, St. Mary will inbound the basketball in front of their bench. And here it comes. The glory you hear is from Drew Joyce who's coming back into the game. Shot blocked out of bounds by McClure. Sets up the inbound situation. There he is, Drew Joyce. 5-2 freshman. Immediate impact. 21 points in 8 minutes of play. Yeah, he's been fun to watch. <laughs> he doesn't take any time, and he's got no conscience. Knock it down. There's a great point you made a moment ago as we look at the three-point shooting, a big factor in the advantage for St. Vincent St. Mary. Nice wraparound dish from Taylor to Carter. And he is fouled. Point, Jay, you made a moment ago about Drew Joyce, his ability to get the shot off quickly. He knows he has to get it off quickly. He sure does. And you get to see this play right here. Nice play. Got into the lane. Brought the defenders to him, a little bounce pass to Maverick, and he got himself fouled. But you're right, when he gets his set feet, his feet set as the ball's in the air, and he's ready to shoot as soon as it hits his hands. And that's what good shooting coaches teach you. You need to be ready to shoot the ball. When the ball's coming to you, you catch it, and it's gone before the defender can recover. The 5-2 or 6-2, you have to get it away quickly, but certainly in the case of choice, every extra advantage you can wrangle out of it, you're going to look for it. Maverick Carter now with five points. A 59-43 advantage for his Akron St. Vincent St. Mary Fighting Irish. Greg Haynes spots up and scores. Big shot right there. I still am impressed by both teams' defense. Both teams come out and play very hard on the defensive end. Both teams in very good shape, as you can tell, and you understand why they're here, because it all starts in the defensive end. 13-point advantage for the Irish. LeBron James. And it knocked out of his hands. Dribbles into the lane. Skip feed to Joyce. <laughs> into the lane for James. Put the left into the lane. The teammate come out on Joyce. <laughs> and it opens up the middle. I really think his teammates want to get him the ball, too. They're looking for him. Well, the crowd certainly gets a little way. First, the sense of anticipation when Drew Joyce touches the basketball. Greg Haynes to the right side. One-hander no good. Gets it back. Missed it again. LeBron James comes out of the pack, racing the break, and moving up the floor, right past oh. Trevor Thomas with a sweet move in the lane. Nice slide by there, avoids the charge, and gets it in with the left hand. Lead at 17 now for St. Vincent St. Mary, 63 to 46. Trevor Thomas' three doesn't go. Able to come away with his miss, though, will spot up again. Too strong, and Ali Semabali comes away with a rebound. Both teams trying to get a little breather right here, I think, now. I can say Vincent St. Mary coming into this game, averaging 75 points a game. They have 63 right now. Foul out high on Trevor Thomas, reach in against John Taylor. Both teams have a lot of energy here tonight. Would have gotten in, dug in deep. St. Vincent St. Mary, I think, just a little bit too much here this evening. John Taylor head to the line. A great run for Greenview. A team that going into the season knew they had talent, but I don't know that anyone, even in the community of Jamestown, felt that the club could do what they have done this season. Yeah, Coach Green mentioned before the game that his team needed to rebound and beat the press. I think they've done a pretty good job of that. It's just that St. Vincent St. Mary's knocked down a lot of three-point shots. Joe Pauley is fouled as he works to the left of the lane. LeBron James picks up the foul. Fourth on James. Watch it here. Yep, you see it right here. Taking the ball to the basket again. Joe Pauley will step to the line. Chad Mraz coming back in for St. Vincent St. Mary's. John Taylor is. 
Still one more game to go here. The four state championship games on this day full of basketball here on O&M, the Division I state championship game. Nice rebound. Again, Josh Carter with the stick back. As Cincinnati St. Xavier and Bedford will battle for the Division I state title. Tim Gray and Larry Huggins have all the action of that one for you here on the Ohio News Network. They had a pretty good game in the Division Four state championship game. And with 208 left, we have an official timeout. St. Vincent, St. Mary, 208 away from a state title. You're watching the Division Three state championship game only on ONN, all Ohio, all the time. Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary leading Jamestown, Greenview, the Division Three state championship game. Has 2.08 remaining. Coach Keith Dambrod and his Fighting Irish are that close to a state championship in Division Three. Foul on the inbound on Greenview, Josh Carter has just fouled out of the game. We're not going to see any quit in this Greenview team. They've come too far to give it up. Really tough, hard-nosed kid. I've been, kids. I've been impressed by the way they come out and play, and, and we understand why they're this far. I know a little of the league they play in, the Kenton Trace Conference in the greater Dayton area, and it's a league made up of schools of their size. And every night out is, you hear that term, every night out's a war, and it's a league that plays on Friday, Saturdays in their league games. So you have very little turnaround time to get ready. So they have a very difficult league to go through. South Charleston, Southeastern, Cedarville, schools of that nature. Maverick here continues to struggle. He's two for five from the field, now one for five from the free throw line with only five points and two assists. And three rebounds. Drew Joyce checks out of the game. Second three, or second of free throw, goodbye, Maverick. We've had so many threes here in this one. Sixty-four, forty-nine, St. Vincent, St. Mary. Greg Haynes with the basketball for Greenview. Long three, deep in the corners, an air ball by Chris Bailey. LeBron James, the rebound, and he's fouled from behind by Trevor Thomas. Yeah, Greenview's trying to get some shots up, and then they go to go ahead and foul. We might see some fouling right here as it's starting to get a little bit out of hand, 64 to 49. Looks like the Irish have this one in, in control. Berman Matthews will come into the game for Greenview. One forty-seven left to play. LeBron James, a big day. Berman Matthews coming into the game. We talk about the great story that Jamestown Greenview isn't getting here. Berman Matthews, a great story. He has lived with foster parents for the last six years. A foster family that, over the years, have served and cared for 236 children. Jeez. 
Well, it's a great experience for him and all these young men to be here to play, be able to play and compete. There's you need to learn to win, the, how to win and lose. There's a steel Maverick Carter racing up the floor. Trevor Thomas was not about to give him a freebie right there. <laughs> no, he certainly wasn't. He doesn't want to lose. Those guys are competitive. Here we see it again. He's not going to give him an easy one. Carter, I like it. Carter was getting his steps down there. And Trevor Thomas was not about to let that happen. Well, us little guys, we never want to give up those easy dunks, whatever it takes. Unfortunately, I've tried not to give them up a few times and still been dunked on, but nice hustle play right there. Maverick Carter's struggles continue. Two of seven now at the free throw line. But fortunately for the Irish, they haven't really needed that type of contribution from Carter here today. Well, and he showed his unselfish play. He hasn't forced a lot of things, and he's let some other guys do it today. Ball knocked out of bounds in front of the Greenview bench. Mike Raymond talked earlier about Bill Lee. There you see him deciding to hang it up as the head coach at Greenview. Has had some pretty good players during his career. Bill Green into the lane goes Haynes. And he is fouled. In fact, one of his former players is currently a high school head basketball coach, Josh Leslie, coaching at St. Mary's in the Western Buckeye League. Haynes at the line. Well, 26 left in the game, Joe. Yeah, you have to give Bill Green a lot of credit. I really thought he had his kids prepared and ready to play. I just think he ran into a little bit better team here tonight. This game was tied at the end of the first quarter at 17. St. Vincent, St. Mary led by three at the break. But the second half has been all Irish. Now high Mraz is double teamed and he's fouled. With 11 left in the game. Uh, we're talking about the impressive numbers that St. Vincent, St. Mary put up in rolling to this state championship. Only three games decided by 10 or less. Greenview's last four tournament games prior to this one were decided by a total of 17 points. Well, his kids won the close game because when they get them close in the last two minutes, they've been able to find ways to win. But you're right, it looks like Action, Action St. Vincent St. Mary's going to finish this one out and go undefeated 27-0. Brent Gill comes into the game for Greenview. Greg Haynes and Trevor Thomas, longtime friends, head off the floor together and are greeted by head coach Bill Green. Greg Haynes mentioned he and Trevor Thomas have been coming to Columbus for years to watch these state final games, and it was just a thrill to be able to play in one. So not very many kids get a chance to come here and play. We all dreamed about it growing up, coming here, watching these great games. What a great run for Greenville. I'm excited for these kids. They had a nice run. Great shots on the bench there. The seniors embracing Coach Bill Green as they walk off the floor. 67-51 is Akron St. Vincent St. Mary's advantage. Marty Willis into the game for Greenview has the basketball out high. Jeff Cardwell also in. Brent Gill. Three no good. Jeremy Crosswhite into the game, a 6'4 freshman for Greenview. Both benches emptying now. It's nice to see you get a chance to get some of these other players in who work so hard in practice and come to play every day to get the starters ready to play. It's nice to see them get a couple of minutes here in the state tournament. Ali Samabadi will leave as William McLean enters the game. Maverick Carter also leaves. Jason Sherry, a 6'5 senior into the game for St. Vincent St. Mary. Also coming in is 6'7 sophomore Germany Johnson, replacing LeBron James. To show you the depth of talent, the 6'7 Germany Johnson hasn't played a minute in this game and didn't play in the semifinals. He's a 6'7 sophomore. You see the Rams are still out on him defensively. Still hustling, still competing. Lee Cotton with the basketball inside for Jason Sherry, who drops it in. Nice post move, nice catch. Very well coached, Akron St. Vincent St. Mary team. They sure are. They've got good athletes. They're also very good at the fundamentals. Left-handed runner by Marty Willis is good. 
Bill Green calls a quick timeout just to substitute. Owen's coverage of the Ohio High School basketball finals being brought to you by Subway, the way a sandwich should be. By Grange Insurance, your partner in protection. And by Ohio Health, your sports medicine specialist. 27 seconds left in the Division III state championship game as Akron St. Vincent St. Mary will move to the state championship here today at the Schottenstein Center here in Columbus. Yeah, it was Drew Joyce and LeBron James that got it done for him here this evening. Drew Joyce hit seven three-point shots, a perfect seven for seven to finish with 21 points. LeBron James had 25 points. Fisher Curious, the seven for seven day by Joyce, still way shy of the state record for made threes in the game. That's 16. There's a steal by Crosswhite who glides in. And oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cross Get in the scoreboard. Well, there you go. 12 seconds left in the game and a foul out high. Stopping the clock with 11 seconds left. Good chance to get your name in the book. Get some points beside it. Here we get to see it. He's looking around for the defender. He might have took a little better peek at the basket. And it rolls in. Bill Green very happy that Jeremy Crosswhite gets into the scorebook. From the Lancart crew, Jay, it's been a pleasure working with you. Really enjoyed it. Great work this afternoon by Brian Johnson, Sam Torrey, Tom Boschetti doing a great job for us here today. Bring you all the great sights and sounds and pictures of this Division III state championship game, which has three seconds left. The countdown continues oh. to a state championship for Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary. Seventy-three, fifty-five is the final in the Division Three state championship game. The Irish of Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary run the table, twenty-seven and zero. Oh, they are state champions. Temporarily 
Akron St. Vincent St. Mary wins the Division Three State Championship today, knocking off Jamestown Greenview 73-55. Jay Burson, they did it courtesy of the three-point shot by the little guy. Yeah, the Rams are going to play zone. The little guy is going to knock it down. Drew Joyce today, a perfect seven for seven from the three-point line, 21 points in 11 minutes of court time. And those were big shots as well, too, that really busted the game open. Here's at the end of the third quarter, very unselfish play by Taylor. He makes the extra pass to Joyce, and Joyce knocks it down. Big momentum boost. 21 points in 11 minutes, and as the Irish gathered around the bench, they were hoisting him on their shoulders. We'll listen in now as the awards are handed out. Jeff Cartwell. Chris Bailey. Joe Pauley. Justin Early. Jeremy Crosswhite. Greg Haynes. Herman Matthews. Greg Haynes caps off a great career. 17 points, six assists today. His last three yeah, games, yeah. 20 assists for Greg Haynes. Trevor Thomas, who got the Rams to this game with the game winner in the semis. Yeah, gutty group of kids. You can really tell these guys play a lot of basketball and enjoy the game and enjoy the competition. And I think enjoy each other, too. That's one of the things we've That's noticed right. throughout this tournament. Well, they talked about the friendship of the team, and they've, came, they've come to this event before. They've watched it. They know what a spectacle it is, and they're honored to be here. And it was, it's nice to see these young men appreciate what they've been able to do and what they've been able to accomplish. What good fans they've got along with them, too. And I know they would have liked to have given Bill Green a state championship, but in many respects, just getting here is almost good enough. Well, it sure is. They, getting here is a great feat in itself, and both these teams are very well coached. I just think St. Vincent and St. Mary's got a little bit better athletic talent, and they had Joyce this, this evening. And Kevin Gehringer. Head coach, Bill Green. Fine season for these young men. We've said it a lot in this lifetime. Unfortunately, you gotta learn how to lose also. You want to win as much as you can, but you must learn how to lose. Coach Green and the Rams from Greenview. Turn around here, fellas, and look up there at the sea of red, white, and blue. And all those folks that came all this way from Green County and Jamestown to watch you play today.
Ohio High School Athletic Association Associate Commissioner Deborah Moore awarding the runner-up trophy to Jamestown Greenview, the Division III state runners-up who cap off a remarkable run with a 23-5 record. And great support from the community. A small community, Jamestown, outside of Dayton. And they packed the stands today. Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary now will get their recognition as state champions. And it's just fitting the first player to be introduced is Drew Joyce. Well, he came up big here this evening, knocking down some big three-pointers. Who would ever thought that they go to zone and shoot a lot of three-pointers, and that's the difference in this game. If it's possible for a five-foot, two-inch player to come up big, he did it. He, he was like he was 7-2 today. Lee Cotton. Jason Sherry. Jason Sherry coming out now, one of two seniors on the roster. The other is Maverick Carter. Yeah, look for this team to maybe come back again here a couple more times. Coach Dan Broad has done a great job preparing these young men to play at young ages, and that's what can happen when kids play a lot through the summer, too, that they start to get and build a lot of confidence at even a younger age. And impressive the way, too, this young basketball team really rampaged through the regular season. Oh, they sure did. They competed. They came out and competed very hard, did what the coach asked of them. He said they're a group of really good young men. He can trust all of them, and they know what they have to do to get wins. Maverick Carter. 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 A day where Carter would score just six points. LeBron James picked up the slack with 25. The managers, Anton Green. Well, good players, good defense, and share the basketball wins games, like Coach Jambach said. And that's what happened again here. And that's why they're 27 and 0. And they're gonna hoist the trophy right here as the best team in Division Three in the state. And I think the claim could be made that they might be one of the best teams in the state. Certainly Cincinnati St. Xavier was placed with a Division One championship a bit later on this evening. A very talented basketball team, but I'd stack these guys up with a lot of teams in Ohio, Jay. I sure would. They showed it today. I don't think they played their best game yesterday. Give a lot of credit to Canal Winchester. And I think they came out today and proved that they're one of the best teams, bar none, in the state of Ohio. We touched on Keith Dambrot's situation earlier, losing his mother within the last week and winning a state championship here today in Columbus. Present the 2000 Division III state championship trophy and game ball. Akron 
St. Vincent St. Mary wins the Division III state championship, beating Jamestown Greenview 73 to 55. Deborah Moore mentioned just a moment ago, they are the only unbeaten team in the state of Ohio. What a class event and a lot of class people right here today. A lot of good memories, a lot of tough